I'm making third time this video. I hope it finally work. So as you can see, I'm making Etzel Benzoate. So here's uh, around 150 milliliters of spirit. Spirit? Spirit? I don't know. And here's uh, 51 grams of benzoic acid. And <clears throat> I'm making here a bit of uh, concentrated sulfuric acid as a catalyst. But I can start, it will not dissolve at all. Uh, dissolving benzoic acid in ethanol is exothermic process and I feel that flask cool down. Okay, so uh, the flask is covered with aluminum foil and now I can sulfuric acid. <laughs> Here's about 5 milliliters. And now I can start reflex, but I have to montage the reflex apparatus. And now, I don't know, I let it heat for 6 hours. Um, okay, so after around 6 hours of reflex, and now I'm distilling off the acids of ethanol. I know that uh, this column is uh, not for distillation, but I don't have different. Here I'm trying to play with uh, lower pressures, so ethanol boils faster and better. Okay, so I've distilled over 100 milliliters of ethanol. Uh, to this value I have to add, um, I don't know, 15, 20 milliliters, uh, which is trapped uh, all over here. And I'm left with, um, I don't know, like 18, 80 milliliters of uh, mixture. And I can see that there are two layers, so that's a very good sign. Um, this nasty orange or even a red color is from uh, iron impurities from my acid. I turned off the plate and now I have to wait until uh, this whole will, will cool down and then uh, this mixture I'll pour in around 300 milliliters of water. Of course, first, first of all, uh, sulfuric acid will react. Okay, I have to say that it looks nice. Um, this brown color, as I said, is from comes from iron impurities, and I don't think. I can do something with it. I mean, distillation would be uh, answer, but I think I don't need it. It looks like lava lamp. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Okay, I also added uh, sodium carbonate to my previous run and I think it works well here will be I don't know 20 milliliters so I poured um, solution into 
aspiration funnel and now I'm waiting so uh, the bottom layer of Esther will form now it's the bottom layer uh, not the top one but because this water from beaker uh, had sodium carbonate in it so the density of it was higher uh, but here I changed uh, the water on uh, pure on clean so now water is on the top okay so i finished um, extraction and finally i've got 20.44 grams of uh, my ethyl benzoate which means that my yield is about 32 percent that's extremely low i don't know where i made mistake um thanks for watching and bye remember to subscribe my channel uh, we're growing, I've got 147 or 48 subscribers, that's like for month I didn't upload anything, <laughs> so big thanks to everyone, uh, but okay, thanks for watching, watch other videos and bye.